Hi there, this is uh, T.G. Taro, also known as Tony E. Parker. And uh, I'm, this is uh, the Soulmate uh, YouTube that a lot of you have been requesting that I produce for you. Uh, this is uh, basically how to create your Soulmate movie, okay, and uh, in order to attract your perfect Soulmate. Now, frankly, I tell a lot of people, uh, especially my clients, uh, that getting a partner is serious business. And frankly, you need to be as serious about getting a partner uh, as uh, you would about any kind of business goal or business vision. Because uh, let's face it, it's prob you know having a partner, uh, you know, is probably one of the most serious. Uh, activities any one of us uh, can do and finding the right partner again is serious business the most important thing to do first is to really set up your I call it a, a mind movie or a vision or shopping list or laundry list and it's really quite simple uh, if you've ever been to any of the law of attraction uh, seminars uh, usually they give you a bunch of old magazines and scissors and some little glue and you kind of make a collage, a kind of a picture, you know, with lots of old photographs of, of your vision or your dream. Well, frankly, I think it's a lot easier if you just make a, uh, like a list, a shopping list, okay? So what I would suggest you do, uh, if you really want to get the partner or soulmate of your dreams, invest in a $2.00. <laughs> Spiral notebook, student spiral notebooks, usually about 180 to 200 pages, that's all you need. Costs about $2. You can get it at Walmart, uh, Office Depot, Staples, wherever, dollar store. All right? And uh, the first, uh, on the first page, I want you to set down your goal statement or vision statement, which is something like, buy such and such a date I will be in a relationship with the partner or soulmate or twin flame of my choice and dreams okay that's called setting a goal if you don't set a goal you won't achieve it all right and so that's why I, I, I stress with all my clients put it down in writing put it in, the, in a place in writing where you can refer to it on a daily basis okay so page one on your spiral notebook on your soulmate spiral notebook I want you to put down the date year okay by which you will have manifested your perfect partner your perfect soulmate your twin flame okay that's page one next page page two you're gonna start building your profile of your perfect partner okay this does not refer to anybody specific this is uh, as it this is like a laundry list or a shopping list okay this is your criteria all right and what you're doing is you're writing down the characteristics of what you want in a partner what you want in a soulmate all right and so the first level, I call it, you know, the most superficial level, which is what I call the dating website level, would be the gender, okay, uh, age, race, location, physical build, uh, you know, again, body type, uh, hair, eyes, you know, etc. cetera, okay. Uh, also profession, education, ethnic background, okay. And then what I would call the superficial personality type, you know, uh, artistic, romantic, poetic, business-like, uh, military, uh, you know, uh, uh, laissez-faire, authoritarian. I would call that the more superficial personality uh, type, okay, that you like, all right? Then the next thing, this is all about what you want and what you're like. You're ordering this up from the universe, okay? Next, we go down a little deeper, is the, the kind of character, the morals and the ethics 
that you want your soulmate to honor and practice in their daily life, okay? Honesty, fidelity, intimacy, whatever it is you want in a partner in terms of their character and their deeper moral, ethical, and spiritual values, okay? Then we go down a little deeper, okay, to exactly the kind of relationship you want. Do you want to get married? Do you just want to date casually? Do you want to live separately but be in a committed relationship? Do you want to live together but not married? Or do you want an open relationship? Do you want a casual relationship? Are you a swinger? Or are you more conservative? You know, exactly the kind of relationship you want. You cannot force another person to have your kind of relationship if they don't want what you want. Okay? So this is why this is really important exactly what it is you want. And you settling for somebody else's kind of relationship, if you don't want it, that's not going to work for you either. So this is very important. Next uh, category is exactly the kind of sexual relationship. All right. Now the reason this is important is you don't want to be doing something that you don't want to do. You don't want to feel like you're forced to do things that you don't want to do. And you don't want to force your partner to do things they don't want to do. Also, do you want, again, committed, conventional? Are you adventurous? Uh, uh, again, swinging from chandeliers, Roman orgy, or are you more conservative? Uh, you know, committed, monogamous, married, you know, again, what exactly what kind of sexual relationship? Now, if you're, you know, considering children, do you want children, not have children? Again, that's part of sex. So exactly the kind of sexual relationship you want. The last category, okay, is exactly the kind of feelings you want to experience in this relationship, okay? Do you want to feel nurtured? Do you want to feel safe? Do you want to feel secure? Do you want to feel loved? Do you want to feel tender? Again, what kind of feelings do you want to feel and experience in this relationship? What you've done is created a complete picture of the kind of relationship you want. This is how you're going and the kind of soulmate you want. This is how you're going to recognize this person when you see them. Okay? Uh, again, if you don't set your standards and if you don't set your criteria, you know, you're just, then it's just the luck of the draw and you get what you get. All right? This is why this is so important. The other part about this is don't settle for anything less than your criteria. There are billions of people of both genders and all shapes and sizes and flavors and colors and races, etc. Uh, on this planet. So there's definitely at least one or two or several thousand people who will match your criteria. Trust me. Once you've developed this picture, this uh, outline on this piece of paper, all right, you want to start looking at it and sort of kind of create a vision of this person, a mind movie of this person in your mind's eye, okay? And you read through your shopping list and then try and create this picture, this imago, this image, this vision, okay, of your soulmate in your mind's eye, all right? And it takes practice, but the more you do it, the clearer that picture is going to become and... It's going to become more and more manifest in your life as well. Step two. We're now going to take this picture, this vision, this mind movie, okay? And we're going to use EFT tapping on it, the tapping structure that I've taught some of you, okay? And again, it's really easy. Just follow the directions. Just tap along with me right now. Again, it's really easy, all right? And again, so here we go. Again, this is EFT. And uh, uh, most of you have seen the other videos, the other YouTubes that I do on how to practice EFT. So this shouldn't be hard for you. So let's just start tapping on your karate chop. Okay, and while you're tapping on your karate chop, I want you to close your eyes and now bring up that mind movie of your perfect soulmate. Again, with all the characteristics and attributes and morals and ethics and and exactly the kind of relationship you want and exactly the kind of feelings you want to experience, okay? 
gun. Just run that movie, that mind movie of your perfect relationship with your perfect soulmate, your twin flame, while you're tapping on your karate chop. And run that movie for, you know, again, 30, 60 seconds a minute. Okay? So you've got that vision, that movie, well in your mind. And you're really experiencing both the, the movie, the, the feelings, the energy, and you're connecting with it. Okay? And now just repeat after me. Even though I have my soulmate movie, I choose to allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life to manifest my perfect soulmate in my life in the best possible way and for the greatest good and I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass and I deeply and completely love, accept and forgive myself okay we're gonna do this two more times slightly differently so even though I have my perfect soulmate movie I set a firm intention to allow the universe to manifest my perfect soulmate in my life in the best possible way and for the greatest good and I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass and I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Very good. Now one more time. So even though I have this perfect soulmate movie, today, right now, I set a firm intention to allow the universe to manifest my perfect soulmate in my life in the best possible way and for the greatest good and I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass and I deeply and completely love accept and forgive myself very good excellent now we're going to do the reminder phrase okay we're going to tap on the other tapping points now let's go top of the head okay I choose to allow the universe to manifest my soulmate in my life. Okay, let's tap on the eyebrows. I deserve to allow the universe to manifest my perfect soulmate in my life. Okay, let's go side of the eye. I give myself permission to allow the universe to manifest my perfect soulmate in my life. Okay, very good. Let's go under the eye on cheekbone. I am willing to allow the universe to manifest my perfect soulmate in my life. Okay, under the nose. It's safe for me to allow the universe to manifest my perfect soulmate in my life. Okay, under the, no under the mouth now. I have the power to allow the universe to manifest my perfect soulmate in my life. Okay. Collarbone. I like the way it feels when I allow the universe to manifest my perfect soulmate in my life. Okay, very good. Out of the arm. It's easy for me to allow the universe to manifest my perfect soulmate in my life. Okay. Karate chop now. Back to the karate chop. So even though I have this perfect soulmate movie, today, right now, I set a firm intention. To allow the universe to manifest my perfect soulmate in my life 
in the best possible way and for the greatest good. And I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Okay, now take a deep breath. And I'll release. Now what I want you to do is tapping again on your karate chop, close your eyes, and run your perfect soulmate movie again for another 30, 60 seconds. Okay, again, the various criteria, the superficial dating website criteria, you know, age, gender, <clears throat> location, profession, education, physical build, personality, character, exactly the kind of relationship you want, exactly the kind of sexual relationship you want, and exactly the kind of feelings you want to experience in this relationship. And when you're done, Take a deep breath, and I'll release. Okay? Now, the whole thing about law of attraction and uh, this, these kinds of exercises, the more you do them, what you're doing is you're creating a vortex of intention. You're actually drawing energy into the, it, from the universe into a vortex of intention, of intentionality, okay? And the more you do this, sooner or later, this, this energy hits critical mass and starts to manifest. And basically what's going to happen is the soulmates, the potential candidates, the potential soulmates that match your criteria are going to start appearing in your daily life and the people who don't match your criteria are going to start disappearing. So there's going to be more princes or more princesses and less toads and less frogs. Okay? And that's what's going to start happening. And you're going to start seeing all kinds of synchronicities. And this is how it works. Now, the more frequently you do this, the quicker this happens. If you do it once a month, it's going to take a while. If you do it once a week, it'll take a little less. It'll take, you know, it might happen quicker. If you do this every day, you're going to start seeing results. Okay, guys, uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this. Uh, I know a number of you have been asking me to, to uh, create this YouTube. So I hope you've enjoyed it, and I want to hear from you, the results, okay? This is incredibly powerful exercise. Everybody I know who's practiced this seriously with discipline and dedication has manifested the soulmate of their dreams. It takes a little work, but it, it's worth it. All right, guys, God bless you. I love you. Namaste. Love you.